All right, welcome back. Let's dive into this, the new command and the remove command. Uh, these are going to drill all the way down. So let's add them. They'll add a new segment to a layer a new, uh, or a new part to a segment. Generic new command, generic remove command. What do you know? Public internal. I don't think that's a thing. What do you say? Get our refresh execute in here. Refresh can execute. Simple, same everywhere. Some may call it cookie cutter. I don't care. If our parameter is an I parent item. Cast it. If it's selected item is not null. is a layer or a segment then yes we can do this else no we can't we actually don't need the else there but I know some of you young ones like to put it everywhere if the parent is a main view then we need to go ahead cast it Set the selected item to the first item if it has a first item. That should be greater than zero, shouldn't it? Why'd I type it like that? have my mock-up code and I try to follow it religiously I think we're going to return to that so if it is an I parameter no let's put it up there each if statement costs nanoseconds and if you mess around with graphics programming, nanoseconds matter. You wouldn't notice an application like this, but that's okay. I am whistling again. I have forgotten, I think, to put our new child. Yes, I have. Our interface needs a new and removed child. Everything that implements the iParent. Needs a new and remove child. Everyone complains about the humidity here in Texas until it gets winter and the humidity goes away and we all whistle uncontrollably. <laughs> Uh, humidity ain't so bad then, is it? Yep. 
is not so bad. I liked to check that the item actually is in our children because if it's not, we have another problem. So you may want to put a throw down here, throw an exception. If the index, if the index is less than zero, just as a debugging purpose. Come on. Intelligence was so great. I think it's actually slower when it first came than when it first came out. Somehow, if that's possible. Alright, for right now, this will just be a base item when we return to our vector tutorial. It'll turn into a path part. A name that I wish I would have not come up with. I don't know why it bugs me so much. Now we gotta put our commands in here. Main view. Alright, the way we have currently have this implemented, the main view really doesn't need this, but we're going to go ahead and call it from our click event. So there's no way in the tree view to not select anything other than to have a code in the background to programmatically select nothing. But we'll still call the new layer function. from a click event. cast it airplane Alrighty, let's get going. Had to pause for a second. Grab the parent of the selected item. Remove me, parent. It has children. Select the first one. Otherwise, our selected item will still be equal to the item we just removed, so get rid of it.
you're selected at once again if the atom if the parent atom has children set it to the first one Go ahead and get our commands in place so we bind to them. Just copy and paste. Make sure selection is in that box. I don't know why Visual Studio 2022 is doing that, but it is. It will have documents selected, although you have a specific area selected. And it will just totally mess your code up. All right, we're almost there. We just got to get our buttons in place. And we'll be adding and removing. Like mad. And we still have to get this into our segment control. And our layer control. I like to have the my commands at the or my stuff at the very bottom versus the standard MVVM stuff. It's just me. It's not necessary, but it makes it easier to find my stuff. Okay, that's it. Run it, test it. If you got something out of this, like and subscribe. It's gonna work. There it is, remove, add new. We need to get our new layer button in there. If you got some pound this, like and subscribe. All glory be to God. And I will see you in the next video.